Greetings, I'm Ron Harmon and I'm with Tomorrow's Church of God. When I say the word church, what comes to mind? Steeples? Pews? Sunburst windows? Sunday morning meetings? Family dinners? Incense? Crosses? Uh, I think we could think of a whole host of other things. Or is it just traditions and family that makes us think of church? We learn about church and religion from our parents, and they learn from their parents, and they learn from their parents, and on and on it goes, all the way back to a point that we no longer remember where it came from. And we don't know why our family observes one particular denomination over another, but we're happy with it for the most part. Some people shop around a little bit, but for the most part, families are happy because they believe that they're correct. They believe that what they're hearing from the minister in the pulpit is absolutely right on target. From our family ties and from our churches, and we learn to celebrate certain religious things like Easter and Christmas and all sorts of events and things that are tied to our beliefs. And we think it's right. We don't think what we're doing is wrong because our family does it, their family does it, the people around us do it. They're Christians. They, they may not be the same denomination, but they believe similar to what we believe. They worship on the same day. They worship the annual holidays. So they can't be wrong. We can't be wrong, right? Well, you got a little problem there. In Revelations 12, 9, and you can find this also in Revelations 13. It says this, Revelations 12, 9. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old, called the devil and Satan. So we know who we're talking about, no surprise. But he goes on to say this, who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Wow. I like to ask my congregation after I read that scripture, who is not deceived? Because it says the whole world is deceived. Who is not deceived? Who are the people in this world that are not deceived? What is the denomination that has it correct? How does Satan deceive is another question we ask often. Is everyone who is on this planet alive today, are they people on this world? Well, of course they are. So when he says he deceives the whole world, are we talking about them or some other world? Of course we're talking about our world here and the people that are on it. And it is a religious thing because it's couched in Scripture, it's couched in the Bible. We learn from it from Scripture. Well, these are questions that we should be answering or we should be seeking the question or the answers to. These are questions you should be asking as Christians, as disciples of Christ, as a person who really, truly seeks the will of God. Are you one of those? Or are you just happy to go along and get along? Well, if you're not one of those and you really do want to know the truth, you might try going to our website and looking at some of the other materials that we have. And you can do that by going to www.thetcog.com. 
That's the Tomorrow Church of God dot com, but it's the acronym T H E T C O G dot com. Or you can go to Country Bible Talk, all one word, Country Bible Talk dot com. Watch our videos. Look at our statement of beliefs. See if we answer the questions that you may have in the back of your minds about different things. If you have other questions that we haven't answered and you would like for us to give you an answer, you can go to tomorrow tcog tomorrow tcog at gmail.com. There are links on our website. You can go to YouTube to our site. There's links on the website there and watch videos there. You can watch them on our websites, the ones that I just gave you. Even what, if you truly want to know how Satan is deceiving the world, we may be able to help with that answer with some of the stuff that's on our website. But only if you're willing to open your mind and your heart to what God's truth is. God bless till next time. We'll see you here again.